Hello, my name's John, and I'm a storyteller. I love stories. I hope you do as well. And I've got lots of wonderful stories to tell you. I've actually produced a website with all these stories on, www.biblestorycards.co.uk. You can see all my stories. I'm also a bit of a painter, and so I paint pictures to help me tell my stories. I hope you enjoy them. Hello, everybody. It's John again with another one of my amazing stories from the Bible. It's another one of those stories of Jesus, the parable, we call them. The earthly story with a heavenly meaning. Have you ever uh, had a, an invitation to somebody's wedding? Maybe you don't like weddings very much, but your mum and dad probably do, and they're very, very excited about going to a wedding. And on the bottom of the in invitation, there's usually these four letters. It's actually French. It means reply, répondez s'il vous plaît, reply to this invite. Tell us you're coming in other words. And if you don't, you can't go. Well, this is a story of a wedding. I guess it was in Jesus' village. And you see, in those days, they didn't have street lights, uh, and the wedding was always at night time. So, of course, it was dark. So they employed people to be bridesmaids, to be sort of artificial human Lights, street lights. So these bridesmaids all went along at night time and they got some lamps and they got some oil in the lamps. But Jesus said five of these bridesmaids were wise and five of them were foolish. And the wise bridesmaids, well, they not only took their lamps with oil in, but they took a jar with extra oil in, spare oil if you like. Five wise and five foolish bridesmaids. Well, you know what happened? The bridegroom was a great long time coming. And uh, it was very dark by the time he arrived. And they all fell asleep. All of them, all ten. Uh, and then suddenly there was a big shout. Hey! Oi! The bridegroom's coming! Go out to meet him! So they all jumped up and uh, started to run towards the bridegroom. But you know, five the five foolish ones suddenly discovered that their oil had run out. They came to the five wise bridesmaids and they said, Hey, will you give us some of your oil because ours has run out? Please. No, they said, we've only got enough for ourselves. We've no. had to refill our lamps. No. You need to go and buy some for yourself if you want some. We can't give you ours. No. Or else we won't have enough. So, of course, they all went dashing off as quick as they could to find a lamp shop, an oil shop, so they could get some more oil for their lamp. In the meantime, the bridegroom came with all the procession and shouted to the bridesmaids to join him for the procession out to the house where the wedding was going to be held. And there they all entered in for an exciting wedding and a lovely party afterwards. Well, the five foolish bridesmaids, they were ages coming and they just couldn't get there in time. And when they did arrive to get into the house, they discovered that the door was closed. Let us in, they said, let us in, we've come for the wedding. A voice from inside said, you're too late. You should have been ready. I think the lesson of this story is it's easy to put off 
starting to follow Jesus and becoming one of his friends. But if you keep putting it off, until you get old, it might be too late. So you better do it now, haven't you?